We always sit amongst groups of uh, different diverse stakeholders in the supply chain because ultimately there's many different people in the supply chain trying to move that cargo. So we'll, we'll sit uh, with those groups and really understand the pain points and say, okay, what, what is the biggest bang for, for dollar in terms of trying to really identify what that pain, pain point is and being able to deliver a solution that has buy-in from, from all stakeholders. And that's ultimately how we sort of come up with those solutions that we need to develop and, and enhance for, for, for the industry. I think there's a, there's a place for that. Um, there will always be more and more coming online in terms of the automation aspect. Um, but there'll still be a place for both uh, the, the manual operation type terminal as well as the automated type terminal. So, and each of them offer different unique challenges in their own right. Um, with, with a fully automated one, you want to ma maximise that infrastructure that you've invested in and uh, how do you best optimally make sure that it's being uh, utilised in the most optimal manner. Whereas in, a, in a, a traditional manual sort of operation, th th there's still challenges there in terms of, you know, you can still automate s s some parts of the processes um, and still benefit from a, a mixture of manual versus automated. There's always lots of uh, opportunities to create better productivity across the supply chain. So, you know, we're probably just touching the tip of the iceberg here. With the solutions that we already have today, is really uh, connecting that supply chain, but ultimately there, there is more and it's around optimization.